hello and welcome to the new video this is part 4 and if you have not watched our previous video you can refer our playlist and for all the resources you can check our official website tech cloud solution link is in the comment section question number 37 a company is planning on using azure for the various services they offer they want to ensure that they can build each department for the resources they consume. They decide to use Azure role-based access control to separate the bill department wise. Would this fulfill the requirement and the options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. So this is used to control access to resources and can't be used for billing purposes. Question number 38. A company is planning on using Azure for the various services they offer. They want to ensure that they can fill each department for the resources they consume. They decide to use Azure resource tags to separate the bills department voice. Would this fulfill the requirement? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is true. So you can use resource tags to organize your Azure resources and also apply billing techniques department wise. Question number 39. A company is planning on using Azure for the various services they offer. They want to ensure that they can build each department for the resources they consume. They decide to use Azure policies to separate the bills department wise. Would this fulfill the requirement? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. So Azure policies are used from a governance perspective and can't be used to create bills department wise. Question number 40. A company currently has the following networks defined in Azure. Name and address space is given. Techset lab dash vnet that is vnet1. So this is a typo error. So it is vnet1 and the address space is 10.1.0.0 slash 16. Then we have vnet2, vnet3 and the address space is given. All virtual networks are hosting virtual machines with varying workloads. A virtual machines named Techset Lab dash detect hosted in Techset Lab dash VNet2. The virtual machines will have an intrusion detection software installed on it. All traffic on all virtual networks need to be routed via the virtual machines. You need to complete the required steps for implementing this requirement. Which of the following would you need to create additional to ensure traffic is sent via the virtual machine hosting the intrusion software? And the options are A. A new route table B. Add an address space C. Add DNS servers and D. Add a service endpoint so the correct answer is a a new route table so in order to ensure that traffic is routed via the intrusion based service you need to set up a route table and add the route table to the subnets in the other virtual networks question number 41 you have an azure subscription named Techset lab staging under the subscription, you go ahead and create a resource group named Techset Labs RG. You then go ahead and create an Azure policy based on not allowed resource types definition. Here, you define the parameters as Microsoft.network.virtualnetworks as the not allowed resource types. You assign the policy to the tenant root group. Would you be able to create a virtual machines in the Techset Labs dash RG resource group? And the options are true and false. So the correct answer is false. So since the policy is applied at the tenant root group, it would be applied to all subscription and resource group. 
and since virtual networks are allowed for the creation of virtual machines you won't be able to create the virtual machines question number 42 a company is planning on using the Azure import or export service to move data out of their Azure storage account. Which of the following service could be used when defining the Azure export job? And the options are A. Blob storage, B. File storage, C. Queue storage, and D. Table storage. The correct answer is A. Blob storage. So only the blob service is supported with the export job feature. Question number 43. A company has set up an Azure subscription. They have set up a storage account and are currently using the blob service. They want to assign permission to three user groups. Group A. This group should have the ability to manage the storage account. Group B. This group should be able to manage containers within the storage account. Group C. This group should be given full access to Azure storage blob containers and data, including assigning POSIX access control. You need to assign the relevant role-based access control, ensuring the privileges of least access. Which of the following would you assign to group C? The options are A. Owner B. Contributor C. Storage Account Contributor D. Storage Blob Data Contributor and E. Storage Blob Data Owner So the correct answer is E. So this can be accomplished with the Storage Blob Data Contributor and this is also given in the Microsoft documentation. Option A and B are incorrect since these would provide more permission than required Option C and D are incorrect since these roles don't have the required permission. Question number 44. The scenario is same and this is for which of the following would you assign to group A? And for group A, this group should have the ability to manage the storage account. So the correct answer is a storage account contributor. So this can be accomplished with the storage account contributor role. Question number 45. Your company currently has a site-to-site -site connections with an Azure virtual private network. The VPN device that is allocated on the on-premise side is going to undergo a change in its public IP addresses. You have to ensure the site-to-site -site VPN connection continues to work after the change. Which of the following steps would you need to carry out after the change in the public IP addresses on the on-premises VPN device ensuring minimum connection downtime? Choose three answers from the options given below. And the options are A. Remove the VPN connection B. Stop the VPN connection C. Modify the local gateway IP address D. Modify the VPN gateway address E. Recreate the VPN connection if start the VPN connection. So the correct answer is B. Stop the VPN connection. C. Modify the local gateway IP addresses. And F. Start the VPN connection. Question number 46. A team has set up log analytics for a virtual machines named Demo VM. They are running the following query in the log analytics workspace in which of the below format will the data be displayed and the options are a table that has two columns b table that has three columns c graph that has the computer values on the y axis and d graph that has the average counter value on the y axis so the correct answer is d Question number 47. A team has set up log analytics for a virtual machine named Demo VM. They are running the following query in the log analytics workspace. If a query is run on Monday, then the query will return events from the last A, 1 day, B, 7 days, C, 18 days, and D, 14 days. So the correct answer is 14 days. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You can also try this quiz and many more 
directly on our website tech cloud solution there you will find additional practice test exam dumps and a study guide to help you ace the easy 104 exam thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video until then happy learning